Most of you don't know that before I was saved in 1973, I had been divorced twice. Sometime just a few years after Bonnie and I were saved and married, I found myself feeling some of the same restlessness that had contributed to my previous marriage failures. Sort of a, there must be something more than this. After struggling for a bit, I finally got on my knees and asked God, what's wrong, Father? Why can't I find the happiness and fulfillment in marriage that I long for? God spoke to my heart. And I heard him say, the problem is in you, Buck. You're looking for someone else, for what you can only get and find in me. I was startled to say the least. I had justified both of my marriage failures by blaming my wives. As I reflected, I realized God was right. Neither of my marriage failures were necessary. The fault was mine alone. I confessed to Bonnie and we read Ephesians 5 and talked about living out the commands of husbands and wives might look like in our relationship. We had said the traditional vows in our wedding day, but the real starting point of our marriage was when we each promised to do whatever it took to become one in the fullest sense of what God intended and committed to Him and to each other that we would do whatever it took to get there. We decided we needed time, not just dates, but regular, prolonged, and private time away. We committed to spend at least one night each month away from home. Bonnie loves B&Bs, and I learned the joys of antiquing with her. We had a blast, and our relationship was renewed in many good ways. 45 years later, today, our marriage is the best it ever has been but it still takes focus and intentionality. We change as we mature, and what love looked like at 35 looks different at 55 and still different at 80. But God is the same. God's love doesn't change, and His will for us is always best. To build a successful business but to suffer failed marriage isn't coherent with God's plan for us. God never works against Himself. He didn't give us a business to ruin our marriage or a marriage to tear down our business. C12 is committed to be an influence for success in both. May God grant us His strength and grace to run through the tape and to finish strong in unity with our spouse. And may His light shine as we do.